All right, it's time for the film, guys. So, Kurt, what do you have for us today? A mix of uh, Stephen King and the Coen brothers best describes this new Amazon original mystery film from uh, kind of a promising new writing directorial team of Daniel Kruger and Bridget Savage Cole. It is called Blow the Man Down. Set in the fishing port in Maine, a sad day for two young women as they bury their mother. Each grieve differently. One is consumed with uh, taking care of the cleanup. The other walks out and winds up at a bar. The next morning, they wake up to find uh, the one sister has uh, killed a man in self-defense, and they must decide what to do with the body. And of course, it's not the obvious answer. Let's call the police. Now their cover-up is mirrored by a second death in the community, and the, uh, the ladies that really run this town uh, are getting to the bottom of it. This cast is relatively unknown. Is there anyone that we might recognize? Yeah, the, the young ladies, a couple of the other characters are pretty unknown, but June Squibb, you might recognize her. She was in Nebraska several years ago, got an Oscar nom for that. Annette O'Toole, she was in It, the, the original miniseries. She was Lana Lang in Superman 3, and she was in Smallville, for those people that are really big in that. Also, Margot Martinsdale, uh, she was in August, Osage County, Instant Family, and uh, Heaven is for Real. So, some interesting women that really get to really show off these great chops, uh, kind of more mild roles, but really enjoyable. Yeah, definitely re recognize some of those actors mm -hmm. for sure. Now, you mentioned Stephen King. An actual Stephen King movie is on Amazon as well, correct? Well, if, yeah, if you're not quite into that one, uh, the 1983 Stephen King book adaptation for the new, it's a new reboot, is the, 19, uh, the 2019's Pet Cemetery mm -hmm. with Jason Clark. John Lithgow. It's so it's such a blast. They changed it up a little bit from the original tale, but it's still really enjoyable if you're a big Stephen King fan. Can't go wrong with Lithgow. You really, really can't. <laughs> Ever, what, yeah. what, what else is out there to stream? Well, new by just yesterday, with all the uh, theaters not being open, a lot of movies are being pushed to the uh, to the digital screen to the on-demand titles. Ben Affleck in his recovery film The Way Back. Vin Diesel in the comic book film Bloodshot. Robert Downey Jr. in the classic tale Doolittle. Pixar's fantasy adventure Onward was released early, and also pushed early was Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. <laughs> and a Harley Quinn is played by Margot Robbie. She reprises a role from Suicide Squad. Rosie Perez is Detective Renee Montoya. Uh, one of my favorites is from Friday Night Lights, June, uh, Journey Smollett Bell as Dinah Lance, Black Canary, and Mary Elizabeth Winstead uh, from 10 uh, Cloverfield Lane uh, plays the Huntress. Uh, several great performances. This young girl, Ella J. Basco, as Cassandra Kane, and Ewan McGregor. You can't go wrong with Ewan McGregor as the Black Mask, Roman uh, Sionis. And it's just this fun blast of a film. If you're a big DC comic fan, it's kind of this, this different angle of it, but the girls definitely get their way. And so it's a, it's a blast, and I, I hope we get a little bit more from them. Those all look interesting. <laughs> they, they really do. They do look good. This Blow the Man Down looks really good. And you, you said you enjoyed that one. I yes? did. I did. I mean, it, it's, uh, we were talking a little bit earlier. There's, you know, it gets its title from a song that you'll <laughs> hear. Yeah. And the, the, yeah. the, the men that are singing this song, it's like the old, it's the Greek chorus throughout this film. And it, it's different. I yeah, mean, it's, it, it's going to take some twists and turns. They kind of get that, the plot going. Yeah, yeah. they kind of move the plot with these singing uh, fishermen. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of an odd thing to, to see first, but you're like, okay, we're, this is part of the story. Okay, cool. And well, they, they look like New England fishermen, too. So they did. They definitely did. Yeah, I think good. that's going to be intriguing. I'm interested in seeing that one. I didn't see Pet Cemetery. I'm a huge Stephen King fan. Yeah. Uh, might be interested in that one. I forget the name of the other one that I went to the theater and oh, it was the new Shining. It was oh. that I did not like Dr. that. Dr. Sleep. Yep. Uh, Dr. Sleep. Thank you. See, I just erased it from my head. I just wasn't crazy about that one, but I'll give a try to Pet Cemetery. Anyway, good stuff for entertainment, and heaven knows we need it right now. All right, <laughs> yes, Kurt. Thank Thanks, you Kurt. so Thanks. much. Notice I did.